I'm Lonnie Gilbertson. My father started a shop, Gilbertson Machine Shop, here in town, and I have a derivative off of that, Lonnie's Place, that I build hot rods, and I have since condensed everything down to where I'm just doing the hot rod shop now. For 2021, I'm bringing my 1965 Corvair. I wanted a road race inspired car, so I kind of wanted to follow the Yanko Stinger. I didn't want to lose the flavor of the sports racer look, so wheels are real critical. ET Wheels made a wheel called a Sebring, and they're a pin drive knockoff wheel, which is the epitome of early road race look. Up front, I had to rework the front panel to create an opening to get air into the radiator to cool it, to make it work. The air that goes in, you gotta get out. So we cut Mako Shark style louvers in the top of the hood to let air escape out of it. I wanted a GT40 Ford style intake, so I fabricated scoops on the side of the body. They take cold air into the intake of the motor, and they, they're plumbed down in through stainless piping they go into the side and it just blows air across the motor to help evacuate the hot air that's trapped into there. I cut this tail light out of a parts car and we welded that metal to get this profile and then I had to make these bezels to run the exhaust tips through it. Gives it that little bit of Ferrari feel. When I had the dash built, we used blue lights back in the dash. The whole car has got like a blue halo to it when it's all together and he, he trimmed it out really good. The lens covers are actually conical, they're not flat lenses. And I wanted that because that's what Corsa was. I tried to keep some of that influence. I just wanted to be able to have another car at SEMA. That in itself is an honor just to be able to be there and be on the floor with fantastic builders that, that do fantastic work and Mother's Polish chose to use the car. They said to be sure and enter the battle of the builders because I wasn't thinking about that. That's for exotic car builders and so I went ahead and entered it. Now I'm nervous about it. <laughs> if I won, I can't even let my mind go there. I would be speechless. I mean, it would be, it'd be an honor that I couldn't describe. And, I don't know how to put it into words. It would just be boggling, mind boggling.